This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I close some polys using the ZModeler brush? So there was an image sent in with this question, and the image had this shape here, and then the result wanted was this effect here. So you have a hole in your model, and it has edge loops like this, and then you want to close that hole, but still keep all these edge loops corresponding correctly across the surface. So how can I do that with the ZModeler brush? So to start off, I just have a simple square here loaded in. This is a single-sided plane with that hole punched out of the center. Now there are a few ways you can close holes inside a ZBrush using the ZModeler brush. So the first one, I'm just going to hover over an edge here and press spacebar to go to the ZModeler edge action menu, and I'm going to choose the close option here. Now with the close action selected, you have two targets. So you have concave hole and convex hole. Now if I choose concave hole and simply click on an edge, this is going to close the hole as fast as possible using triangulated geometry. So this is really handy when using with very dense meshes where you're not concerned about the topology. This is the same process that will be applied if you go to the geometry tab over here and go to modify topology and do this close holes. So you're going to get the same result if you click this button here or hover over an edge with that close concave hole target selected. Now the next option you have for closing holes is using the close convex hole target. Now with the convex hole target, you have a whole bunch of different options here in which you can apply to this. But the basis of this one is going to close the hole and it's going to generate it around a center point. So if I click on this edge here, you're going to end up getting something like this. So all these edges are going to form kind of this starburst pattern and it's going to center on a single point. Now this is handy for closing cylindrical holes, so you can simply click on an edge and then while you're still clicking, you can move your mouse up and down and it'll end up generating segments. And if you move left and right, it's gonna generate height. So this allows you to create some interesting shapes on holes on your model. But as we noticed for the example, this is still not what we're looking for to close this surface geometry here. So I'm gonna undo that. So the way that I would recommend to do this to close this hole here is hovering over an edge again and going to the bridge area here and choosing edges. Now with the bridge and the target of edges, you can come through and click a first edge and second edge and just start generating your topology across a surface like this. Now you'll notice that these are now going the correct way, but I still don't have these points here welded correctly to the other side. So after we have this bridge process done, we just need to come through now and hover over another edge and now select the insert action and then choose the target of multiple edge loops. Now if I come across this edge here, it's going to generate edge loops in this fashion. So if I simply click and now drag up, it's going to apply more edge loops. If my edge loops are at 2, you're going to notice it's going to weld correctly to that model there. So you can see it's kind of popping like so. So if I'm higher than 2, it's just going to still leave that kind of holes in the geometry there. But if I line up correctly like so, ZBrush is going to automatically weld these points together. So now you can see I have this whole closed correctly and the topology is still going consistently across in all directions. And if you come through and start smoothing these points, you're not going to see any holes being generated there. So that is the way that I would fill in a hole like this using the ZModeler brush inside of ZBrush. If you have any other additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!